All right, hello everyone. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be transferring our 3D models and objects uh, in the gallery project to the Unreal Engine. So uh, what we're gonna need to do first is make sure we've got everything downloaded that we need. So you can just search for Epic Games Launcher. That's what we need to download if you don't already have it. And then you go to that page right there and you go ahead and click on download. And you'll have to create an account if you don't already have one for Epic Games. Um, it's free, but uh, yeah. So once you've downloaded the Epic Games launcher, uh, make sure you've also downloaded Xcode if you have a Mac. Um, and uh, you might want Visual Studio as well if you have a PC. But if it works, don't worry about it. So let's uh, uh, go ahead and make sure we don't have any stumbling blocks, but Go ahead and proceed here. So, once you've downloaded Epic Games Launcher, you go to Library, and you do the little plus sign, and it will add 5.0.1. That's key that you're using the right one. Uh, that's 5.0.1. Make sure you're using that. Download it. That'll take a bit of time. And then once you do, it'll be in yellow here, and we will click on Launch to launch game launcher <laughs> okay so once the game launcher is open you're gonna to go to games and we're gonna do a first person it has a lot of the maps and stuff we already need so it makes things a little easier and then you're going to go ahead and save it to a place where you're gonna keep it for for good basically so um, if I go to my gallery folder um, I will create a folder called Vor Unreal, and I've already got one, just as a tester. Um, or Dow Final, select, select folder, and make sure retitle it down here as well. And we'll create it. All right, and so this is the default map and it comes with some content in it. Um, and I'll just use this content quickly to go over the user interface and then we're gonna delete a lot of the 3D objects and things that are in our scene. So what we've got um, is very similar to Blender in a lot of ways. We've got all of the assets that are in our scene over here on the right hand side. Uh, that is just like Blender. If we click on a specific asset, we get the details panel for that asset. So that is all of the settings for the individual objects, what kind of materials, all that kind of stuff right here. Down here, this is kind of your file folder base where you've got a lot of the files that you're using in your scene. And if it's not by default popped up, you can hit this little button down here and dock it in layout uh, to make it visible while you're working at adding files and stuff. Okay. So first step is to get rid of all of our mesh objects. And we can see over here that all of the objects are titled static mesh. So we can type mesh in our search. And we can select all these objects and hit delete. So that's just kind of cleaning up our scene. And then these components we wanted inputted by default. They are here. We've got our um, sky atmosphere. We've got our directional light. We have a volumetric cloud instance. So you'll see clouds in the sky. And then we've also got a skylight, which is giving us the angle of the sun on our objects somewhat similar to what we have in Blender. All right, so the next step is to set up files for export from Blender. So let's pop that up and I'm going to open my file. Oh, 
Okay, so we have our Blender file. It's all set up just the right way with all the materials that we need, and we are ready to export it. But I don't want to export the whole thing all at once. I want to export the whole thing all at once, but into individual files or FBX files. So the way I'm going to do that is first I'm going to select all my meshes. So I'm going to come over here to my objects and just select everything and then look for anything that's not a triangle like the light and control click it twice to deselect it. Camera, don't need it, deselect it. It's control click twice or probably option or command click twice for the Mac experiment. Make sure it's just the triangles selected here. Okay, so we've got all our objects. We are ready to go. So the next thing we're going to do is some Python scripting. I know nothing about code, but I know I should know more. So here we have where you could kind of type in code and control things. This is really an awesome space if you know code, but it's also great because there are some templates set up. So if I click on this template here and go to Python, go to batch export, I have these options here. I have no idea what it says, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. So this runs a script that will add FBXs. So this is our folder now that we were just looking at a second ago. And you can see we have all of our 3D objects here. Because we've already done our um, external data packing and unpacking of resources, everything is referencing that folder. So it's all nice and clean here. I could delete these, but if I wanted to, I can actually just go ahead and um, create a new folder and just put the UV blanks in it. Okay. Just in case I'm wrong. But it should just be referencing the textures folder here where you can see our UV maps already applied. Okay, so we've got all of our FBX files here and they're all titled beautifully. Now we go back to the Unreal Engine. And simple enough, we create a new folder and we call that folder our gallery name. And then we either import by pushing that button or since we're already looking at it, I can order this by type and anything that says 3D object, I can select. And just go ahead and click, drag, drop. Then we get this folder here. The only thing I'm going to change is generate missing collision. Um, and that's it. Import all. It may take a bit of time. This one error message is pretty standard. Um, there's no smoothing groups, which is something that you can add. It's a little bit more sophisticated, and usually it's done in programs like 3ds Max or something like that. So you can see here we have all of our meshes and all of our materials ready to go. And if we wanted to be super good about organizing, we could create a new folder and call it materials slash text or underscore text for textures. The difference between a material and a texture is a material is um, a texture applied with parameters. So this is a texture and this is a material. So I'm just going to search for materials. Oops. Okay, and then I'm going to select all of these materials and I'm going to close this and they should still be selected and I can just drag and drop them, move them there. And then the textures, I can do the same thing. Close 
that's this. Alright, so once you get it kind of figured out, however you get the materials and textures into this folder, now all we got to do is go back and create a new folder and call it meshes or objects, whatever you want to call it. And then select the rest of your objects and go ahead and move them here. Okay, so now we've got organized folders. When you're done moving around your files, you should have something like this. Materials and textures folder and a meshes folder. So now all I have to do is drag and drop all of this. Just select all of it in my meshes, drag it into the scene, and then I'm going to set my location over on the details panel at zero, zero, zero. So now we've got everything in the scene at zero, zero, zero. Uh, the next step is to play with uh, collisions. We've got here some of our objects, we've got our, our player start, we've got our gun, which we'll get rid of later, <laughs> um, and we've got our basics here. First thing I want to do is set up collisions, then I want to set up any materials that might be a little funky, and then we'll deal with lighting, landscaping, etc. So first step is to talk about collisions. So if I look up here at the top, I've got these different visual styles. Yes, I can switch to a top view, a bottom view, um, different views here, perspective. And you've got lit, unlit, wireframe, all of the different kinds of things that you've seen in Rhino and in Blender. Um, but now here we've got other things like visualizers, such as the player collision. And if I click on this, we go to a, bla a black empty void. There are no collisions set up. So I'm going to leave this visualizer on and I'm going to come over here to my content and I'm going to look for um, the layer that is my exterior um, ground plane basically. So once I click on that I can come over here and double click in the details panel because I've got it selected even though you don't see it and I'm going to kind of scroll this down a little, squish it down so that you can see. Um, this is going to be a more of a simple collision um, and we're just going to go ahead and add a collision. So you can see right now number of coll uh, collisions is zero. We'll add one and just this 10 dop x simplified collision. Now you see the green, that is our ground plane. And you see the green around our option, our object in here, this is the kind of walkable area. Something like this is fine to leave this simple. We might have to make more complex ones. We will have to make more complex ones for other objects, but this is a very simple collision. And so if I save it and close it, and then I scroll down over here on the right hand side and make sure that our collision preset is set to default here, which it is, uh, we should be ready to go. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and save just to make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be, if I were to crash for some reason. Okay, so I'm gonna hit play here, and I am standing on the ground, and I can walk around. But I can also walk through walls, and I can kind of see some things that I already know I need to fix, some glass, and that kind of stuff. But I don't wanna be able to walk through walls So I need to fix those. Hit escape, get on out. And let's go ahead and find some other stuff like, uh, well, walls exterior are fine too. So if I click on that, scroll down or up, try to find that, there it is, walls exterior, double click. And there they are. This time I'm gonna add a more complex collision. So I'm gonna add this 10 dop again but you can see I wouldn't be able to walk inside or around anything because it's a big, just unorganized box around everything. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna look for collision complexity or co collision pre, uh, right here, 
Complexity, yes. Um, and then use complex collision as simple. It creates these white lines. And those white lines are also going to be collisions. Um, but they are going to negate the green lines, which means we will now be able to walk better through the space. So we got walls exterior. What about just walls? Okay. Again, find the walls. And we're going to use the same kind of collision again. So you're going to basically do this with everything. that you want to walk into. So now if I hit play here, I can walk through the doors, but I can't walk through the walls. I can walk through the sculpture stand still, all that kind of stuff. All right, so those are collisions. Apply them where you need to. Um, if you're going to do any kind of automation to an object, such as add a uh, media player or make a motion graphic or something, you do need to have collisions on for any kind of triggering to effect. Um, otherwise, if you've just got wall art hanging on the walls, you really don't need to apply collisions to it. Um, but if you want to, go ahead. Uh, but you can see, I don't see my wall art here, and that is because I don't have collisions set up for it. Maybe my exterior sculpture. There's a couple of other things that I definitely want to add collisions to. Um, so I will definitely do that, but uh, leave you to it for a little while here. Okay, so that is player collisions. Um, other things that you might want to do, switching back to lit here, is uh, make sure that you have glass applied properly to your objects. And so if you wanted to, you can actually go ahead and import starter content, which is what you see in this folder here. You do that by just going to add, add feature or content pack and go to content and starter content and add to project. That will populate your starter content right here. And it has a lot of different things in there um, that you might want to play with like particles. You have all your explosions and stuff. Um, random chairs and things like that, please don't use these. <laughs> uh, but the most important stuff is the materials. Lots of cool materials here. Anything tiled is gonna be problematic, but like the metals and the lakes are really cool. Um, you'll have to edit some of the other stuff. So like, for example, if I show you steel, you see that it needs to be tiled to work properly. They're too big. <laughs> but things like glass, work great. So I like the glass from Unreal Engine better. It just works better with the engine. So I applied the glass. Okay. So that is basically materials and um, some very basic material stuff <laughs> and collisions, but we'll get more into materials later on. Um, next up is lighting.